Oh, you are so cute. Those are hers. Oh, Mama's hiding your toys. What's Mama doing hiding your toys? Oh my goodness. So sweet. Guys, she loves my office. It's a good place for babies. It will soon be a complete wreck. Oh, good. You found those. You found those. Guess what? That's what those are for. Couldn't figure out a use for them until now. Hi guys, my name is Desiree. I'm a mom, a wife, stay at home with my little girl. She's 13 months old and I'm also a VIP kid teacher. This is something I just started two weeks ago and I'm loving it. I'm sincerely surprised that I am actually loving it. Um, so I wanted to make a video about my first couple of weeks as a VIP kid teacher because whenever I was getting hired, and going through the hiring process which is by the way a pretty much a four-step process um so as i was going through that <clears throat> i was like powering through it i wanted to be done within like three days i want to be done on the first day but that's just not possible so i was powering through this process and i really um i used youtube so much to help me find ideas for teaching the mock lessons, um, you know, information on VIP Kid about, you know, is this something I actually want to be doing? Like, I'm spending time right now going through this hiring process. Is this something that I actually want? So, I'm going to give you today just a little rundown on my first two weeks as a VIP Kid teacher, some frequently asked questions I've been getting, and also a little tour of my classroom. Just to give you like a little preview. My classroom is on an enclosed side porch. Um, there's not <laughs> the heat and the air from my house. It does not run into this side porch. And today's like, there was frost on the ground when I woke up. It's cold in here, bottom line. So I was like, oh, I'll look a little bit nice for this video. And I was like, yep, I'm gonna throw on a sweater and a scarf because I'm freezing. Got some of <laughs> my slippers. So let me talk a little bit about my first couple of weeks. First of all, let me address the fact that I was skeptical of VIP Kid. I didn't know if I was gonna like it, but I went for it anyways. Um, I'm staying at home with my daughter now and we just needed some extra income. I was looking at some options. I was gonna go and sub and this kind of like fell into my lap. I was like, okay, I've heard about this before. I've been skeptical, but let's just try it. What can it hurt really? With that said, if you are, if you have a bachelor's degree, you can be a VIP kid teacher. You don't have to have a teaching certificate. Um, you don't have to have professional teaching experience, but you do have to have three years of teaching experience. That can be anything. That can be like teaching lessons of some sort, teaching Sunday school, you know, teaching your own kids, teaching kids that you babysat. So really anything, um, anything counts. So getting back to kind of the hiring process. As I was going through it, I started getting really excited. I started watching a lot of videos of people who were talking about how much they love VIP Kid, how it gives them an income that like they're able to stay home with their babies and that's just what I want. <laughs> it's just what I wanted. So um, I was really excited about it. Then I started getting nervous, to be honest, about bookings. That's like the big elephant in the room. I think that's the phrase that you use for that. Once you're hired, it doesn't really mean anything other than you can open up a schedule but parents have to book you. So that means that, like how? How are these parents gonna book you? They don't know you, they've never had a class with you before, they may have had classes with other teachers that they love and there's thousands, tens of thousands of teachers on the platform. How are they going to book you? How are you gonna get bookings? And then I started getting freaked out like, I'm never gonna get bookings. I'm never gonna get bookings. And then, I got my first booking. It was like three days in, I got my first booking. Um, I had two days of no booking, so I was like anticipating so hard. So just do prepare in advance for that. I also was hired during a holiday. Um, so that might have been, I was hired during Mid Autumn Festival, which I didn't know that I was applying during a holiday, but um, so I think that contributed. I know a lot of teachers get bookings right away. Some, it takes a while, but I think if you put some work into it, you get booking, you will get bookings like within a few days. It might not book up your schedule right away, but you will get those bookings. And once you start, it starts ramping up. The profile on VIP Kid is where, is what um, 
parents see and they see that and decide if they want to book you as their teacher so I changed my profile picture I made it look more professional it's still just like a selfie but I made it look more professional I've changed it twice since then um, and then I made you make like a little quick intro video it does not have to be edited it does not have to look professional but you want good lighting and you know you want to look happy and fun and you want to have props and things um, to get kids excited and get parents excited like that's the teacher I want to teach my kid so I made a new intro video it doesn't take that long I made um, I made sure my profile wasn't like gonna not translate well to Chinese um, I also made sure that it highlighted my teaching experience and my experience with kids those were like the main things I highlighted so once I start once I did all that the booking started rolling in um, within the first, like, in that first week, I got hired on a Friday. So in that first full week, I was getting, like, I think I got seven bookings, which was great. Like, I was totally happy with that. I was teaching one class a day. I was really getting my feet wet. And then this week, I've had 15 classes, so it's doubled. Um, I've heard to just expect it to increase 10% each week. It's the kind of job where you, you grow a little bit slow. Today I had three classes. It was my first day with three classes. And then the next few days I have three classes. And I kind of expect that I might get extra bookings um, over those next few days because I have them set on short notice. So I might have four or five in a day and I'm ready for that. But I was not ready for that at the beginning. So it really um, was something that I was nervous about, but it ended up being a good thing. The fact that bookings came like in a slow progression. Let me talk about the pay because that has been like the first one of the main things just within the first two weeks that I'm thinking about that I'm evaluating like is this job worth the money that you're getting because that's something that you think about I think with any job like am I getting paid for what I'm doing like am I getting paid well for what I'm doing and my conclusion is definitely yes it's good for what you're doing because as a teacher I know that I was getting paid what it felt like bare minimum to do so incredibly much in a public school because I was so stressed out. And I was an English teacher, so um, standardized testing, like uh, remediation and interventions and planning all my lessons. And honestly, I didn't, there wasn't even really like a planned out curriculum. I felt like I was just going from scratch on everything. It's just, it's a lot. And that doesn't even like scratch the surface. And with VIP Kid, yeah, you're getting paid maybe maybe a little bit less as a public school teacher, depending on what state you live in. But you're also part time. But you're also not making any lessons. You're also not planning the curriculum. You have one student at a time. It's like tutoring. It's like it's like a lesson. It's an English lesson, one on one. You like get to know the kid. You get to really have like focused one-on-one -on -one time and um yeah it's definitely good pay so let me describe the pay because i've had so many questions from people base pay is from seven to nine dollars per class so that means for class depending on um your experience and how your interview went your mock lesson your first one your demo lesson um depending on how that goes you're getting paid a base of either seven or in between seven and nine dollars so somewhere in that range I think it maybe increments by 50 cents I'm not really sure so say you're getting paid eight dollars per class a class is 25 minutes and two classes put together they just generally say is an hour because you do have to leave some super quick feedback and you have to um, maybe prepare for like for me it preparing takes like five minutes at this point so um, not a big deal and you want to be in front of your computer in time all everything like that so they generally say you know whatever that base pay is for that class times it by two and that's your hourly pay so if you're getting paid eight dollars an hour or eight dollars per class then you are getting paid sixteen dollars an hour now if you're on time to your classes which that's easy to do I hope um, because you don't want to have a student waiting there so if you're on time to your classes you get paid an extra dollar per class um, that's great. That means two extra dollars per hour. Then you get an extra dollar per class if you teach 45 plus classes in a month. It's really easy to do that. Um, I think that I'm going to make that this month and I started a little bit into the month. So, um, today is October 19th and I am on my like 14th day of teaching. So 
I started a little bit into the month, plus I'm new. I think I'm still going to hit that mark. A lot of teachers hit that mark within a week, is from what I hear. So, which means another $2 per hour. So now, your $8 hour base pay, $8 um, per class base pay has turned into now $20 per hour. Does that make sense? It is confusing. And then there's other extra incentives, like if you teach a trial class, which means a student who is just trying out VIP Kid and they sign up based off of your class, you get $5 per kid. Um, if you teach a short notice class, which means you set your time slot so that students could book up to an hour before your class, then you get an extra $2 for every short notice class. Um, and that's great because those can really rack up. Um, I've put a lot of my classes on short notice because I just assume I'm going to teach in the morning. Um, I get up at the same time each morning and if I'm not teaching, I do other things. So um, that's just the general pay. There's also a referral program, um, which is exciting. And they pay their teachers to train up other teachers basically. And that's what I'm starting to do because not that I think I'm any kind of pro ESL teacher because I just started. Um, I do think that I have a teaching background. I taught English, so I think I have the foundations there. Um, but I more so am training through the hiring process and through those first few classes, through the getting bookings, all of that. So I just went through that. I feel like I'm a really good person to train you through that because I just went through it. And also the hiring process just changed. Like it's brand new. I just went through the brand new hiring process. I went through it in three days. I think that's all guys. Two weeks as a VIP kid teacher has been so fun. Um, I really loved it and I'm excited to start training new teachers up to get hired. They're going through a big hiring process right now because they just had like some um, free trial days where they got an influx of new students plus VIP Kid from what I've heard at least is expanding into um, a ton of different countries. Alright, so I just filmed all that you just watched yesterday and I needed to update you that today it is a Saturday, it is officially my 14th day of teaching and I woke up to all of my classes for next week booked and the rest of my slots for this week. So Saturday and Sunday, I guess, technically. All of it's booked up completely. I have 31 classes scheduled for next week right now. I'm debating if I wanna open up any other slots because there are some days where I have, there's one day where I have seven classes in a row and there's multiple days where I have six classes in a row and I just don't know what that feels like yet. So I think I'm gonna play it safe, keep it at that schedule, but I'm just so excited. Um, I'm excited about it. I wasn't expecting it, um, but it just seems to have randomly happened. Now the one tip I have is I did change my profile video, um, not yesterday, but the day before, and I just made it like super fun, super bubbly. I look super happy in it. Um, I can give more specific tips if you are interested, and if you're interested in seeing my intro video, let me know in the comments, um, because I think that could have attributed to it. I mean, I don't know for sure, but seems like there might be a correlation there um so with that said let's go and take a peek at my classroom um we have a side this weird enclosed side porch and that's where my classroom is hey hey this is a dog that's hemi all right so this is where my classroom is and to be honest like this side of my classroom is kind of just unfinished we are going to make it kind of like a mudroom area. So right now it's just like a holding space for some bags and extra seating and this desk where I keep some technology things and obviously like some things I need to return and garbage because I don't have a garbage can yet. But this guys, this is my classroom. This is where the magic happens. So I hope you like this video. Um, subscribe if you liked it because I will be making more like this one, let me know if you have any suggestions or videos you wanna see on the topic of VIP kid, teaching from home, teaching as a mom, working from home as a mom, anything like that. Um, and I will see you on the next video.